Hey everybody, welcome back to Heart Breathings. I filmed a August plan with me, but before I get started on that, I wanted to show you the new planner pages that I downloaded from Principal Pineapple, I think it was called. I'll link the store down below from Etsy, but I was using this blog and business planner um, from Etsy that I had for a while and realized that one side of the calendar was like, I don't know, off center from the other side and it just started to drive me crazy once I had noticed it. So I downloaded that as well as this new project planner page and um, I am excited about those. So I will show you guys where I got those and I will set up my month of August. And as you can see here in between, I just put some dot grid paper. I love using printables. It's really kind of making me happy. So let's get into it. So for the month of July, I just went back and redid everything that I had done previously in a previous video. I think I showed you guys that. And when I got ready to set up and print it out for August, I just put these blue post-it notes for the videos I wanted to do. And then I also have these stickers that I just printed myself um, and cut out with the Cricut that are pink for Heart Breathings and purple for Sarah Cannon that I've got you know my washi tape and various stickers from my own stash that I'm also going to be using now the pens that I've been using lately I kind of go back and forth on what pens I use but I love these Stadler um, pigment liners I've got the point oh, or point five and point three or whatever they are um, they're the fine liner pack you can get them on Amazon I can also link those down below for you if you're interested I think they have like one that's even finer than that like a 0.01 but I like the three and the five so I just took these um, stickers off and now I'm going to start decorating I've been very much in this pink and teal zone lately and I've pretty much decided I'm going to stay with that color scheme for the entire 90 days and then switch it out for the next 90 days. I think next 90 days is going to be kind of tough to decide a, uh, like a color scheme for myself because it's like okay we've got Halloween which I would love to use for Halloween but then we've got like NaNoWriMo and, and um, Thanksgiving in November and then Christmas so maybe I'll just do kind of more of a seasonal planner and every month will be different instead of using the same color scheme for the entire 90 days I don't know maybe I'll just kind of go crazy with it um, I the way I see it if your planner is not making you happy and being functional then it's not doing its job <laughs> so um, I did I mentioned this yesterday in my a weekly plan with me and my Hobonichi that I actually found these Michael's Recollections sticker books on sale for uh, only like $5 and they normally are $9.99 and so I'm using some of those as well. Actually I think the only, I'm using a couple of stickers but maybe only one or two from that for this. There was a like first day of school sticker and I thought oh yeah I'll use that just to note here in my planner. So if you're not familiar with this custom planner that I've done for the 90 days. This one is basically a Franken planner of printables that I've gotten from Etsy as well as um, a 90 day planner from a program that I took called the 90 day year with Todd Herman and then um, just my own some of my own sheets that I've made as well as some of the happy planner teacher planner so it's really a lot of different things as well as like some dot grid colored paper that I downloaded from Etsy as well so I've really just made this my own and it's only a 90 day planner and so I am only planning for July, August, and September in this planner and it's only for my business. So if you're watching the Hobonichi one, that is more of my family and life planner. Um, as you can see here, I was having some serious struggle getting this washi tape to cut right. It just was not happening. So I pulled it off completely, ended up tearing some of the paper. It was just one of those days. Um, I even pulled out my Barnes & Noble membership card because it was like this, um, this green Hobonichi stencil is really um, like bendy so it doesn't work super well when you're trying to just tear washi so I thought this really hard B and N card would work better and it didn't so maybe I'll just blame the washi tape instead of myself but I ended up just pulling out my stickers um, so I have this little like dialogue or like I don't know speech bubble set of stickers that I got from this uh, sweet stamp shop or something like that I think I got a lot of my stamps from there and I think she might have sent this it was like only a dollar so I thought I would use those so I put a background of some pink washi and then put my work in progress there and I've you've seen these before if you've watched my channel 
but that is a piece of my Deceiving Darkness book cover that I had made into stickers at Erin Condren last year that I'm really excited to be using in my planner and um, I know I have some more but I'm going to need one for like cover reveal day and one for the book release but I am working on Deceiving Darkness this month. I meant to get the entire outline done last month and it did not happen so I will be mostly finishing the outline over the next couple of days here as we move into August and I'm hoping that starting on the first I'm going to actually be writing. And yay for this new washi that tore much better. So I'm all about the black and white polka dots. If you guys um, have been to Michael's, if you have one close to you, they've had these bins of three for a dollar washi tape, which I just love because sometimes even if you get like stuff that's on sale, it'll be even less than three for a dollar. So I've been grabbing every single black and white polka dot like roll of washi that they have as well as like they have these black hearts every time I go in it seems like they've refilled it and I get as much as I can because I could use this black and white polka dot like forever I cannot remember where I got these uh, little sheets that I'm using now with the little hearts I think that was also a Michaels thing but these were maybe something from Recollections brand and as you can see I'm looking back on my 90 day milestone sheet to see okay what definitely needs to be done by the end of August so I've got a short story that is part of my demons world but it is based on uh, like uh, it's a mix of Alibaba and the Aladdin stories and it was going to go into a like short story anthology last year and I did not or earlier this year and I didn't get it done in time but I'd still like to write it because I had it plotted out and I was really excited about it so I think I'm still going to go ahead and write it this uh, just this month when I get a chance and uh, probably upload it uh, to my blog for free for my fans or put it in my Facebook group for them just for free because it really was a cool story and I want to write it so I'm putting that on my list because it's on my by the 60 days end of 60 days into this 90 day year or 90 day quarter I want to have that done as well as nine more heart breathings videos like what you're watching today nine Sarah Cannon vlog videos because I've started also vlogging on my channel and that may go to only doing vlogs on Fridays. It just depends on how much I can keep up. And then I want to set up backlist promotions, which is a big thing for me this 90 days, is going back and setting up promotions um, like newsletter promotions, Facebook ads, Amazon ads for some of my backlist because I haven't really been promoting it hardly at all and I'd like to get kind of ramp that up before book 10 of my series comes out. Then I would like to do a Facebook Live every weekend, so I've got four of those on there, and then promoting my new paperbacks, which hopefully will be done by the end of this week. All the paperbacks will be finished, and then I want to do some uh, promotion and um, like special giveaways for the paperbacks, because I know my fans have kind of been waiting for them. Um, as an indie author, you get to sort of choose what you want to spend your focus time on, and paperbacks just never something I've really focused on a lot but I know that my fans and all fans really enjoy having paperbacks to read so my books have mostly just been an ebook all these years and they've sold a lot of copies but I know a lot of people have been waiting for those paperbacks so I'm hoping to get those completely finished with all the brand new covers and be able to offer some giveaways offer some signed copies on my website and really start ramping up with that and then the final thing on my list there is um, Fairhope box set and promo is I would like to take my completed series called the Fairhope series which is a new adult contemporary romance series and it's six books it's completed like totally done series and I would love to box it into one big box set and offer that at a discount um, to my fans so I am going to get that done this 60 by the end of 60 days if that makes sense so I plan for the 90 days for a quarter and then I have milestones or certain checkpoints I want to hit by the end of 30 days by the end of 60 days and then by the end of 90 days so I know I'm staying on target throughout the 90 days so all of those things are focused things I'd like to have done by the end of this uh, month, so to speak, or the end of 60 days. All right, so if you've been watching, you've seen that I've put up these little um, like YouTube play buttons. These are also from Erin Bradley Designs, um, just little icons that I downloaded from her, like clip art, and then I turned them into stickers We're using my Cricut machine and I know it's not planner related but if you guys are interested in seeing how I take those clip art and turn them into oh I hope you can't hear that I have 
loud motorcycles going by. But anyway, how I turn them into stickers, let me know because it's super easy, but I know there aren't a lot of tutorials about how to use a Cricut. A lot of people use a Silhouette, and if you are thinking of getting a machine to make your own stickers, I would recommend probably getting a Silhouette instead of a Cricut because there's a lot more tutorials out there. But it's been working great for me. I just use full sheet labels or shipping labels to create the stickers, and then I just usually buy the designs and icons that I want to use from Etsy and they're much cheaper than actually buying the stickers because you can use them and reuse them as many times as you want. So what I have done on August here is I wrote those goals out and then I have put down a pink play sticker for YouTube for all the days I want to upload a YouTube video for heart breathings. Then the purple play stickers are for all the days that I want to upload a video for Sarah Cannon, which is my, I mean, it's weird to say for Sarah Cannon because I am Sarah Cannon, but when I say that, I mean for my Sarah Cannon YouTube channel, for my writer YouTube channel, rather than for my author, like YouTube channel for authors. Um, so I guess the difference is, is it an author channel for authors or is it a channel for fans? So for my fan channel, I would like to upload um, Mondays and Fridays writing blogs. So we'll see. It may be too much for me to do because I'm only wanting to do things that I'm really finding fun instead of things that I'm finding tedious. And that's why I'm spending more time on doing videos and doing things I really enjoy like planner videos, blogs for my readers, rather than spending a lot of time marketing and doing Facebook ads and things like that. Those things are kind of necessary these days, but I just want to focus on where I find joy in this business. And, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. And I think that connecting more with my fans and with other authors is a lot more fun for me. Um, so I'm just going to spend my time there and not apologize for it. So there's a lot of videos up on this monthly calendar and <laughs> it's a little bit scary seeing it all laid out like that because I know it's going to be a lot of work, but it should also be a lot of fun. It might end up being a small miracle if I can actually get like 18 new videos. But the exciting thing is that I have been batching my heart breathings videos. So obviously this planner video, I just did this yesterday because it's almost August and you know, I'll also be filming some different planner things as I go, but also I'm going to be putting up starting this week, finally a plotting series and those videos are already done. I already have a great download for you guys that are interested in learning how I go through my plotting and outlining process. So those are already done because I batch filmed those last month before RWA, uh, which was the Romance Writers of America conference. So it feels like I'm a little bit ahead, even though I know there's still going to be a lot of work to be done. But it feels good to be kind of getting things batched and getting them ahead. And as you can see, I just also put down um, a little like camera there. I, it was it's like a little video camera on the 24th and on the 3rd of this month those are going to be my filming days that i'm going to batch film the rest of the videos for the month of august and for part of september and then you can see those little laptops that i put down on the first and on the 29th there those are when i'm going to be batch writing my blog posts that go along with that so instead of actually writing the content or making the videos every week as I go, I'm going to be doing them all in one day, which helps me so much because I can stay focused and I think I can do a much better job. Um, when I record four or five videos in a single day though, I really, my brain starts to like not work right anymore. Um, so I have to kind of be careful. I have to really stay focused on what I want to do, but it's kind of like performing. It's different when I'm doing these voiceovers because you don't really know if I have makeup on or pants, <laughs> but when I'm actually recording those um, vlogs where you, or videos where you get to see my face, I feel like I'm performing. So it takes a little bit more energy and excitement and, you know, really get into it. So it's just harder to do a bunch of them in one day, but it's been helping me to try to do like four or five at a time. To get them done and then okay so what I've added also here are little like envelopes and those are for my newsletter days that I'm going to be sending out and I have that I'm going to be sending out a newsletter for heart breathings every Thursday but I also put that I'm going to be sending out a Sarah Cannon like fan newsletter every Friday and I'm just not sure that's going to really work out because it seems like a lot of newsletters going out for an author and I'm not sure if my fans are going to be interested in that so I might end up segmenting it so that I can ask you know fans if they want to sign up 
for a special list where they're getting like lists or links to that vlog, the video blogs that are going up, or I may just say, hey, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see them instead of sending out a newsletter. So I haven't totally decided. And then on Saturday, I forgot to mention this before, Saturdays I'm going to start doing a weekly Facebook Live in my coven or on my page or potentially both. Someone told me there's a way that you can actually do a Facebook Live on your Facebook page and then share it into your group so that people can see it in both spaces. So I've got to do a little bit of research on that and see if I can get that to work. But I've really been enjoying the Facebook Live. So if you're an author and you haven't done Facebook Lives with your fans, maybe try them because it's really fun to interact with people that you've maybe even known for years um, through social media who you know have been really supportive of your books. It just helps to build that community and get to know them better and they get to ask you questions and you get to tell them about the things that inspire you or uh, what you've been working on and that's really really been a lot of fun. So I highly encourage you to do it even if you're scared of doing it. I was terrified the first few times I did a Facebook live because I thought oh my gosh my teeth are crooked and what if I say something stupid or what if, what if nobody shows up? That was a big one too um, and it's kind of scary because at the very beginning you can't see that anyone is there because it takes a few minutes for the notifications to go up and it's like oh my gosh I'm going to be on here by myself or like one person is going to be watching um, and it'll be my husband. <laughs> But it ended up being really great every time I've done one. So I encourage you to get over that fear and just try it because it's actually been really fun and a great way to connect with my fans. So I've just been blathering on while um, I've been putting on these little pencil icons. They're um, just little purple pencils and it I think maybe I went a little bit overboard with it, but I wanted to mark down every day that I'm planning to write this month and on some months like in month of July I didn't write hardly all because I was working on other things so Jul or August is going to be a very heavy writing month um, and the only two days that I'm really not planning to write at all are the 19th and 20th because I know the 19th we're going to be getting my son ready and I want to be snuggling him and enjoying maybe like our last day at the pool and probably dinner out and a little bit of last minute school shopping stuff. And then on the 20th, it will be his first day back at school. So I'm sure that we will be taking him in and having lunch and, you know, just different things like focusing on Andrew that day. So I'm not planning to necessarily get any writing done that day. But every other day of the month, I'm going to be writing. And every month won't look like this, but this one will in particular. So since this is a definite, like have to get a lot of writing done, I wanted to focus on it on my monthly spread here and put out like what my daily writing goals are. And on Wednesdays, I'm planning to write, well, actually Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I'm planning to write 4,000 words a day. For me, that's going to take probably two and a half about two and a half hours where I'm sprinting 25 minutes on with a five minute break and then every third sprint I get to take a longer break. So I think it'll probably take me about two and a half hours to get to 4,000 words if the words are flowing. Um, so we'll see. I'm planning to write every morning from about nine to noon. So I've got three hours blocked off so that should be plenty to write 4,000 words for me but we'll see. If the words aren't flowing it's just not going to happen but I'm going to put the time in either way. On Mondays I'm hoping to write or um, Sundays and Mondays I'm hoping to write about 2,000 words a day and then Thursdays 3,000 words because I've got a lot more like newsletter and video stuff going on on Thursdays and then Friday is also going to be putting that blog those blogs together for Sarah Cannon so I'm only planning to write about 2,000 words on Fridays and as you can see I've already got some of those stickies ready for September and that is my business planner and like I said this is just the main focus of my business planner I have another planner that has more detailed like family things and personal things but this is a good look at the things I'm focusing on in my business for my videos my newsletter and that sort of thing and I might be adding promotions to it as I get those promos set up but I hope you guys have enjoyed this I hope it helps you kind of see how someone else is planning their business and if you did please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel I hope you guys are excited for the plotting series coming up I will see you in the next video bye